Hello, agents. Hello, everyone. Really quick rate check, 285 on that 10-year treasury, down from 312 recently or even higher than that. So remember, rates are subject to change at any time. In this video, I'm going to be discussing fees in these next-gen uh, annuities. So let's just jump into it. So transferring risk. This is, by the way, 100% my opinion, this video. Um, regarding these products. So my opinion, in my opinion, IMO, transferring risk from insurer to insured. That's what I think these fees are doing. And it also changes the terminology you can use when marketing or selling or talking to clients regarding these products. So let's just jump into this. Um, fees for rate. So here's just two rate sheets I have from two different insurance companies. This top one here offers a booster rate. So as you can see, there's a standard rate right here. It says the cap is say 275 or 410. So we're gonna look at this 410, 610. So if you pay the pay this 1% booster, you can get 610 on your cap instead of 410 on your cap. Um, but if you go out to a no fee product, I can get you 6.5 or 7% on the cap. So what's the spread here? Why would you do it? So, oh, in my opinion, this is, um, if, if a person takes one over the other, it's likely a commission play or some other conflict at play because it doesn't make any sense to offer your client a lower rate and a fee. So I, I don't get that at all. I don't, I don't even understand really, um, why these products are done. I, I guess just to make it look better on paper at that higher cap. So here, here's actual, from the fee product, a breakdown. So this is based on 0% gains. And you see uh, the fee just eats it up, right? Now you'll have a death benefit or a minimum guarantee after the term may make you even again. But we're talking um, during the term and based on this illustration, right? Um, and if you need to leave or whatever. So as you can see here, it just went down. But if we look at the actual um, hypotheticals here, so you have an accumulation and death benefit that match off. But as you can see here in the fourth year, you had a down year. So your accumulation value went from 113, the owner's accumulation value went from 113,000 to 111,000. So you just had a fixed annuity, lose accumulation value. I, I mean, it's just, I don't know what to tell you about that. It, it's, it changes things from zero is the hero to now really 1% is a loss. Owners can now lose. So you can actually lose money in a fixed annuity if you have a fee and that takes away your compounding. How do you have compounding, right? If your money goes backwards, there's no, it's no longer, you can't call it the terminology of compounding. As soon as you have a down year is no longer valid, right? Cause you're not compound interest and is not earning on interest. Interest is actually used to pay a fee. So anyway, what do, um, add on product fees accomplish? Well, they add sizzle to the product, right? You can say it has a 610 cap instead of a 410 cap. Um, you can off, I've seen them offer extra bonuses, like big, huge upfront bonuses. Um, so higher rates on the rate sheet and big roll up rates too. You can do like these roll up, right? For income. So what else? It transfers risk from the insurer to the insured. Why? Well, if you're paying a fee for an income you might use in 10 years and you decide you don't use it in 10 years, you just paid 10 years of fees at a point or more, say on a million bucks, that could be a hundred thousand dollars, right? Um, on a point or more, just, and then you don't use it. So the insurance company wins. So they're off the risk. So use it, not use it. They don't care. They already made their fee. So transfer the risk of you using that income from the insured to the insurer. Um, it's an instant profit for the insurance company. I haven't seen where they're taking these fees and making sure that the guarantees are stronger on these products. Like, you know, down the road, make sure uh, if life expectancy increases, they'll be able to support these um, products that they're offering and these long, long-term guarantees that these fees are supposedly um, taking care of. So that's another reason, uh, instant profit to the insurance company. Um, we don't really trust the insurance companies when profits involved over people. Contract owners have the ability to have a negative return on accumulation value as we went into zero is no longer the hero. You now have a negative one who's almost an enemy to your growth, right? So you went from a hero to a villain uh, in one in one product uh, feature. Uh, and it's the removal of compound compounding interest. First time you have a down year, you don't have compounding interest. You actually have reducing um, premium, uh, reducing accumulation value which is once an annual lock-in, an annual reset is done, it's supposed to lock in those gains. If the gains can be given back the next year because there's a down year, um, and then you have that, and then the next year, if it goes up, you still got that 1%, you're off the year. You got to add all that in, um, and it will add all into your future overall yield. Um, 
And then also these fees are in a way to get larger commissions to the advisors. Again, all in my opinion and some not opinion, some fact. So um, right there, when are added fees worth it? Well, there is times when these fees are 100% worth it because of what they will accomplish. So to meet a specific client goal in the future on a guaranteed basis. So the number one place I see a fee outperforming traditional, these next gens performing at traditional is the client who says simply, I am planning, I need a thousand a month for life starting exactly in 10 years. I'm 55 at 65, I need this thousand. I need to make sure it's set. Well, a rider product can do that. Um, the fee products with longer deferrals can offer more flexibility and higher income guarantees over traditional products. So from day one, you can say, yeah, you're guaranteed your thousand dollars. But by the way, in the 10th year, we can shop the market. And if your accumulation value is enough, maybe we get you more than a thousand. Even if it's a thousand and ten dollars, it's better than a thousand. Also, say you get sick, say something happens. You have the flexibility to use those funds instead of turning them into a lifetime income when your life expectancy may have been um, diminished. So there's definitely a place for these um, only it's this big not the entire marketplace where it is now um, so, so yeah comparing uh, and compare and illustrate the desired result using guarantees in the product not assumptions so when you got that client that says they want a thousand a month you know you're showing them the guarantees here it is a thousand a month um, and that's what you're going to compare and then you can also throw in at that point oh by the way you know maybe you do better you know, but the guarantees are what we want to focus on so that the client doesn't ever misunderstand or say, oh, I was expecting this or that. No, here it is. This is what you're going to get. If you get more, no one's ever unhappy getting more. No one. So that takes care of that. That's the end of my presentation regarding fees. Remember, it's really important. Traditional annuities, we talk tax deferral. We talk compounding. We don't want to lose that and we don't want to use those termini terminal that terminology if we are not actually able to offer compounding if the rate's going to go backwards. So you can't use zero the hero on products with a fee. Um, you can't say compounding with products with a fee. So just want to, in my opinion, I think those are bad ideas. And if you, if there's a product out there that that is a company maybe you don't have, you need to get more premium with, uh, you know. Uh, or let me rephrase that. There's a company out there um, that you need to get more premium with that has a lower rate. You, you got to move your client to the higher rate with no fee. It just makes most sense. And overall clients are happier and happy clients are referrals and repeat clients. So anyway, I hope you're all having a wonderful day. And um, if you have any questions, comments, give me a call. We would uh, be happy to help you. Uh, be sure to like and follow right there on Rumble, YouTube and all that good stuff. Uh, LinkedIn is where I do my most up-to-date daily um, updates. And of course, join our mailing list if you're an agent for the um, updates in the mailing list and the interactive features you can get there. Great. I hope you're all having a great week and thanks for watching and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.